Welcome to the What's New video for PTM 5.0. I am Martin Pfanner, the Product Manager of Primary Test Manager, our testing and data management solution for primary assets. Together with my product management colleagues, I will show you some of the key new features in PTM 5.0. Lucas will make the start and introduce you to the new features for CPC. A warm welcome from my side. I'm Klinge Schmidt Lucas, the Product Manager of CPC 100. With PTM 5.0, we will introduce the Rapid Fault Sense, which is basically an outliner detection for unexpected events during measurement. Secondly, we will as well show our brand new polarity check measurement in PTM. Now let's go. We are here in our training school. Please try not to repeat this at home or in the field. We are here in a controlled environment and the complete test procedure is safe. I'm in the high voltage area and my colleague Martin is assisting me as he will inject 50 volts with the 2 kV output. Before Martin is going to inject the 50 volts, he will increase the new HV timeout function to 600 seconds. The HV timeout function terminates the injection with the 2 kV output in the quick card by default after 10 seconds. The HV timeout function shall prevent long unintended injection cycles with the 2 kV output in quick. But the user is free to adjust the timeout according to his needs. I will use now this discharge rod and our sausage to trigger the rapid fault sense. In PTM 5.0, we also added the polarity check test for the current transformer as well the voltage transformer. Together with our CPC100, the CPOL2 device can be utilized to verify the correct wiring within a substation. Within the polarity check test, the user can, for the current transformer, let's say select his core as well. Tap combination, entering a location information, and as well, giving at the end an assessment. The core and tap information as well the winding information from the voltage transformers are collected based on the asset nameplate information. Welcome from my side. My name is Christoph Engelen. I'm the product manager of the Testrano 600. Today I would like to show you the new features which we have added regarding power transformer testing. On the one hand we have added the shunt reactor as a new asset to PTM. On the other hand, we have added additional measurement options to measure line-to-line -line winding resistance values on Y-connected transformers. Finally, for our brand new Vibroacoustic feature, we have added a data exchange option so that the user can directly send the data either to our technical support or to the support team of Maschinenfabrik Rheinhausen. Let's have a look at the features in the software. In PTM 5.0, we have added the shunt reactor to our asset list. To add a shunt reactor, we go to Asset Transformer and select Shunt Reactor. And afterwards, we can populate the nameplate information starting with a winding connection, for example, choosing a YN connection, and then filling out all required information like the voltage, current, and power ratings. This means that also in the PTM report afterwards, the asset will be reported correctly. After adding the Shunt Reactor, we navigate to the test list to select the tests that should be carried out. When selecting the Testrano 600, all manual tests are available and can be added to the test list, such as the DC winding resistance measurement. Additionally, a handful of guided tests are available 
such as the dissipation factor measurement, oil analysis and inspection. And when we move to the Dirana, the Dirana test is available and an SFRA test can also be carried out. Finally, we can use the reporting functionality of PTM to create a report including all relevant nameplate data of the shunt reactor and the test results. In PTM 4.90, we have introduced the brand new vibroacoustic measurement for the Chestron 600. In PTM 5.0, we have added a new feature to this test, which is the contact support button under the measurements tab. After pressing the contact support button, the following form will show up. The main purpose of this feature is to upload the vibroacoustic data to an Omicron server where a technical support engineer can analyze the data and give feedback. In order to do so, the user has to enter his name, his company and his email address and he can decide what information to include. Additionally, when changing the request type from application support to analysis support, the data will be sent to the customer portal of Maschinenfabrik Rheinhausen where the user can request an analysis service for the vibroacoustic data. The next feature that we have added in PTM 5.0 for the Gestrano 600 is a new option for the DC winding resistance measurement. In case of a star connected winding, we have now the option to choose between a line to neutral or line to line measurement. This is possible for a single phase or a three phase output. In case the three phase output mode has been selected, the measurements will be measured as line to neutral and if line to line is selected, the results will be calculated based on the line to neutral values. Now let's have a look at some measurement results. In this case, the three phase output mode has been selected and the results were measured in a line to neutral fashion. The winding resistance results can be seen in the table below. And if we switch now the measurement mode to line to line, we will see that the results are recalculated and are shown as line to line readings. In addition to the measurement option of line to neutral and line to line measurements, we have added a new functionality for auto transformers. In this case, the user can decide if he wants to measure the full stack from line terminal to neutral, or if he wants to measure the series part from HV to LV terminal. You can easily connect your PTM with your private server in the cloud, with PTM Data Sync Web to fetch data needed for your work in the field or to save your work results in a central place. Cybersecurity regulation nowadays often require a two-factor authentication for all software services exchanging data with the internet. Therefore, PTM 5.0 offers an option to force a two-factor authentication for the client-server data synchronization as alternative to the already built-in certificate-based authentication. As administrator for the data sync manager, I can enforce a two-factor authentication for all users of PTM data sync and DSM. I do so by opening the settings dialog in the identity management system, enabling the enforcement of a two-factor authentication for all users and disabling the client certificate generation. In the PTM client, I have to change the authentication mode, the username and password. Then I can sign in as a user if I'm registered already in DSM. Now I use the Authenticator app on my mobile phone to get the authentication code. As soon as I am signed in, I have different options. I can open my user profile or I can directly open as well the Data Sync Manager. I stay logged in as long as my PTM session is open. PTM 5.0 offers as well a new web service for measurement data validation. David will give you some more insights into this new service. Hi, my name is David. I'm the product manager of our SFRA product line. Aviations which are caused by the transformer state 
external factors, the measurement setup, or any other kind of measurement error can lead to a wrong diagnosis. A supervised machine learning algorithm was trained in order to check and validate the measurement results. A total of around 19,000 SF ray traces were used for this task. Those data is coming from Omicron sources, from measurements over the past several years, and they were rated according to expert knowledge. The SFRA data validation web service helps you in order to check the quality of your measurement data. This helps you making a trustworthy and reliable assessment on your measurement data. The SFRA data validation web service will be free of charge for one year. To get the license, please contact our technical support or download the license via our customer portal. After this one year preview phase, the service will be charged. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the new features of PTM 5.0. The best way to experience them is of course to try them out yourself. If you have further questions, feel free to contact one of us or our technical support anytime. Thank you for your time.